Our other top story this evening, carnage inside a San Jose home. A murder-suicide ends with five people dead. A neighbor describes how he helped the gunman's wife make a dramatic escape. KPI X5's Kit Doe is live near the home on Habits Court with new accounts on how three people survived the rampage. Kit? San Jose police say they cannot recall a more deadly night in the past three decades. I want to run through the list of survivors and deceased for you now. Three people managed to escape from the house. The gunman's wife, their daughter, and a niece. Among the deceased are three adult women and one man. And also, that makes five dead in this murder-suicide in East San Jose. I, I heard gunshots and then I, I took my kid and my wife into the master bedroom and hide. Neighbor Alan Bowie, who did not want his face shown, says he heard shouting and arguing and then rapid gunfire, about a half dozen shots. That's when his neighbor climbed their shared fence and spotted his sliding glass door that was left open. The wife jumped the fence and ran into my house and then um, she locked the door uh, in my, my, my kid's room while we're in the master bedroom. I ran outside and then I closed all the door and I saw him asking, looking for his wife after I heard five shots or six shots. Somebody called 911 while the wife stayed hidden. What did she say to you when she ran in? Oh, she didn't talk to me or anything. I, I was just, I was kind of like upset because what are you doing running into this house? Yeah. You know, you shouldn't because I have a five-year-old here and she knows that. Why are you coming into this house when there's your husband chasing you, you know? San Jose police arrived to a chaotic scene. Three people managed to escape, giving officers clues about the carnage inside. The officers could see the victims were wounded and moving, still alive at the time. They decided to, um, to effect a rescue, and they actually rescued uh, a man and a woman. They were tra transported to a local hospital where they died a short time later. A few hours later, heavily armed officers detonated a concussion grenade and entered the house. They did not know it at the time, but the gunman had already shot himself dead. That's when they made the grim discovery. Another two women were found shot to death inside. And it's just sad overall when you have something like this happen. It's terrible. I can't imagine what the victims were going through uh, the moment that the suspect was uh, shooting at them and, and, and killing them. And, um, and now for the surviving victims' families as well for them to deal with this, with the aftermath. And just a few moments ago, the crime scene cleaners have arrived here on the scene. The coroners have not yet released the names of the victims. We're live in East San Jose, Kitto, KPIX5.